Hello, my name is Billy Richards. Uh, I'm one of, the, one of the watch captains for Hokulea. I come from uh, the island of Oahu in the state of Hawaii, a small community called Kailua. And we are on leg, this is leg 27. We're going to be leaving Panama on the 18th uh, and making our way to the Galapagos. It's getting easier now. In fact, there are some University of Hawaii courses that will, will start training you in, in the Star Compass and how to use it. And you do that on land, and then step two is to do it on the ocean. And so, and actually, uh, more and more of what we practice on the ocean, be it star navigation or how to live on the ocean and everything else, uh, is ending up being in our curriculums, uh, university curriculums. And now, at, at this stage of the game, we're building uh, high school curriculums. And, and even at home, some of the, the, we, some of the grade schools and preschools are already studying canoes and, and stars and things. So. We'll, we'll ask you to do some short sails, and the sails get longer and longer, and then uh, we go up into the deep blue. And uh, usually, if people are not comfortable, that's normally when they will reveal it to themselves that maybe I don't belong out here. But once we get you, uh, once we decide that you're okay for a for a long trip, um, basically what we tell everybody is we're one family on this canoe. We need to take care of each other, watch out for each other at all times. Uh, if you if someone gets ill, we're gonna have to cover for that person. But it's basically we're we're one big happy family, and we're on one island, and this island is this canoe, and we have limited resources, so we try to conserve everything we do, including our own strength, you know, uh, food, water, our our, our own uh, phys physicality. I just think that uh, most of the crew, it'll take some time for them to get used to the ocean, especially at long distances. And um, the, you must, the, the way the canoe is built, you can never really stay dry. So you must always plan, you must plan to be wet all the time. And if you can't do that, I always say, uh, if you want to stay dry, stay home. You know, when we first started sailing Hokulea back in 1976 from Hawaii to Tahiti, um, the oceans were fairly clean. Uh, but as time goes on, and what we're finding, and I, and I bet all boaters out there are finding, is that there's a lot of plastics out there, a lot of plastics. And, um, and they become very minuscule at times, so even the little fish will start eating that plastic. And it's, it's not a good thing for our, our world. But, you know, back home in Hawaii, uh, we have one island that has banned plastic bags from their island. Uh, more and more other counties are starting to pick up on that. But I think right now, uh, just for me, in my observation, plastics is, is the big issue, especially in our oceans. No, I'd just like to thank, uh, first of all, thank Panama guys, for welcoming us and the hospitality. Everybody here is treated as very kind. And also thanks for our, our uh, families back home because we couldn't do it without them, you know. And, and all the people back home have supported us as we've gone around the world for the last two years. Uh, aloha. aloha. de la danza del guerrero
language and the Navajo language, we say ashehat. That's our, our gratitude. So thank you again to everybody for being here, especially the crew members of the Hukalea. I, I, I'm glad you made it here safely on your plane and wishing you the, the, the best of fortunes on your way to Galapagos. Sage will also be passed around amongst the folks and you could sage yourself off. And what that means is that the smoke is very sacred. It's very cleansing. Scientifically, again, indigenous science proves, the modern scientists prove that it, it gets rid of bacteria and different stuff in the air. So it's, it is proven scientifically, but this is something, again, we've been doing for thousands of years to purify our homes, purify our spirits, purify our bodies. Oh.